Welcome to the dawn of a transformative digital era with the arrival of 5G Advance. Four years have passed since the introduction of 5G. During this time, Middle East, especially UAE, has quickly grown to be a pioneering force. This region, with its stunning blend of long-standing cultural traditions and breathtaking pace of development, emerges as a destination where cutting-edge technologies turns imagination into reality. 5G Advanced is a living reality here in Dubai, achieving a 10 gigabyte per second speed rate. With technologies like FWA Square making its way into the daily operations of home and businesses, Middle East is actively gearing up for 5G Advanced commercialization. I am Cyril Cost, Digital Transformation Strategist at Digital and Growth. Today, we are going to witness a real smart home scenario supported by Dubai local operator. Welcome to the home of the future in Dubai. I am with Karim Benkiran, Chief Commercial Officer at Do. Welcome, Karim. Nice to meet you and thank you for inviting me. Who is Do? Well, Do is a telecom operator based in the UAE and, and uh, we are driving innovation and we are a key enabler for the market of, of the UAE, inspiring also the industry of the telecommunication worldwide. We are here in this amazing villa. What does the house of the future mean for Do? So this is a, a really another first mover and innovation we are bringing to the markets. The home of the future is bringing the 5G advanced technology, which is the middle way between 5G and 6G. We are looking to the lifestyle of the household, uh, which is uh, changing consistently. Uh, one third of the time of the household is spent inside the home. And uh, with the increased demand in terms of connectivity, we uh, believe that the 5G advanced uh, will be providing a great experience. So you mentioned that 5G advance is the necessary part between 5G and 6G. But what does a 5G advance bring to the table? And also, what does it mean concretely for, for us in our daily lives? 5G advanced is today going to help the household or the customer inside the home to have a faster upload. If you have a need for different devices like the VR on the AR, so this 5G advance will be definitely uh, enabling that. Uh, when you also store your, your photos and you want to upload the photos, sometimes it's, it's take time. So with the 5G advance, it's going to be 10 times faster. So we did introduce uh, the FWA uh, 5G uh, two years ago. As we are also eager to innovate, uh, uh, we believe that now we are going to have the next generation of the FWA enabling all the new uh, experience of our household. Earlier, you also mentioned uh, FWA fixed wireless access uh, and if uh, FWA reaches uh, 500 megabits we will be able to deploy uh, enterprise level solutions. So we did launch the office wireless <coughs> based on the 5G technology. The enterprise market is more demanding than the consumer market. So they want the speed on the upload <coughs> equally to the speed of the upload. So, and the 5G Advance will be able to provide that. On top of that, uh, we believe that the enterprise will be uh, also building more propositions and more innovation based on this technology. And uh, we will keep uh, uh, definitely innovating uh, with them and trying to build the future use cases and enhance all this uh, type of experience. It's amazing, thank you very much, Karim. Thank you, thank you. Welcome to the 5G Advanced Villa. Why don't you come with me inside and we have a look. The living room. Let's start with this magnificent TV. This one is a 85 inch TV and on one side you have 700 pixel content versus 8K. And what is incredible is that it's the same content that has been enhanced in the cloud via AIGC. So what does it mean concretely is basically we are going to be able to watch all the old content which are going to be enhanced through the magic of AI. 
And what is incredible with the 3D display, it's not just one device, it's an ecosystem. So let's start with this one first. It's a, a 3D display with 96 different points of view. If you watch a movie with your family, if I'm here, here, here or here, I see a different part of the, of the object, but there's more. So let's try a 3D display. Image pop in your face. It's like you want to catch it. That's amazing. And I don't have any glasses. I don't have any uh, VR headset. It's almost like I can grab it in my hand. You must think I'm crazy, but currently I have a museum artifact in my hand. <laughs> wow, this room with 3D displays is amazing. I've been very impressed with how realistic things have become. And where are we now? Oh, I think it's a gym. Let's have a session. Welcome to my gym. What do we have here? We have a 75 inch TV that is connected directed to the CPE. The CPE is what is going to connect your smart home to the 5G advanced network. And thanks to that, we have a 8K image directly here from YouTube. In my free time, when I don't go to the pub, I like to do some yoga. And this is my coach. His name is Michael and he's my yoga coach. Let's follow the master and just lay on the floor. Wow. So we are in a VR world, a world that more and more homes have already experienced. I'm trying to find where we are right now. Somewhere here. Well, that's quite an interesting VR education experience, visiting the galaxy. So in summary, why do we need 5G Advance? Because it's not just about the bandwidth. It's also about low latency, it's about stability, and how many homes are going to be connected to the cluster. So here, just a quick recap, you know, we have our basic needs, you know, the phone, the pad, the desktop, but now we are adding new usage in our homes, such as the 8K TV, such as uh, VR experiences. All that adds up, and you need about now 500 megabits per second in your home. That's huge. And this concludes my visit to the home of the future. My key takeaways for today, the 5G advanced era is expected to bring a network experience that is 10 times better than that of 5G. This tech evolution is expected to impact our way of living, sports, gaming, education. With the deployment of 5G advanced networks, it's clear the future holds an immense potential for further connectivity and progress.